Hi guys. I got this in the mail the other day, Saturday. Unexpected parcel. Um, it was another freebie. So thank you very much to that same person that sent me the last box. Because he sent this as well. It is another JSP Maxi Lite, but with a big difference, which I'll show you in a moment. But I also got seven cone brackets, um, all by Dorman Smith. And these ones are actually different. I've got seven, the rest are behind me. The rest are all, well, apart from another one of these with the slot in it instead of hole, they're all like this one. <clears throat> um... But I didn't actually realise Dorman did more than one design. I've only ever seen this one. <laughs> um, I'm sure I've actually seen one with a slot, but not with the angled edges here. Um, and this is a different one as well. That's got a smaller hole there. If I turn these up the other way, you'll see it better. Look at that. And a different hole pattern as well. So I don't know if that's an older version than this one. And of course that one... I don't know if this one is actually a doorman. It hasn't got anything written on it. But it will fit various lamps because you can adjust it. Because the spacing between the bolt and the bottom of the lamp will vary on different lamps. So, chuck these out of the way. The main difference with this lamp, from all my other maxi lights, is this thing on the back. <laughs> it's a, um, a scaffolding bracket. So, um, you know, all the metal scaffolding you get up the side of buildings when they're having work done on either the outside of the walls or the roof or whatever um, so yeah that just bolts to the, one of the scaffold bars and that is actually sort of like an easy quick fix you know you can just flick that over and then you do these up and there's two little holes on each of these nuts so I presume you'd have some sort of special tool or a couple of little screwdrivers that might be a bit fiddly but you could do it with a couple of, or a couple of small hexagon keys I think that one's actually too big no it is the right size you know, a couple of those you could put in there to turn them <coughs> so um, yeah thank you very much uh, he did send a letter in the box as well He's looking for um, certain lamps, so if anyone out there can actually help, because I wouldn't mind um, at least seeing some of these. I haven't checked my eBay messages yet, because he was going to include some pictures. Because I didn't know some of these even existed. Right, what's he looking for? A Dorman leader light in red. Uh, a Dorman cone light in blue, red and magenta and the magenta looks like a pinky coloured lens and a blue JSP mini light I've got a red one I have seen blue ones but they're just as rare as the red ones in fact I do believe that red one I've got is the only JSP mini light I've seen in red so um, they don't come up very often on eBay uh, a Tildorn M lamp or motorway lamp which is their version of a cone light. See, I didn't know Till Dawn did a cone light of any description. So, I'm going to keep my eyes open for them, because they do look uh, interesting as well. And if I see anything, I will um, drop the guy a message on eBay, because that's my only way of contacting him at the minute. <laughs> um... You can't send emails over the eBay messaging system, unfortunately. eBay won't let you know. It does, they've got it set so it doesn't even matter if you try to trick the system, it picks it up. You know, you could put the word dot instead of a little decimal point and it will still reject it. 
so I can understand why they do that but again it's annoying especially if you come to trust another eBay um, but anyway I'm going to do what they call pay it forwards I've already put the offer up on a Facebook group because um, I've got quite a few of these maxi lights I'm going to post a couple for free free of charge <coughs> and free postage within the UK obviously because of the cost to post it abroad I would have to ask for postage but uh, at least in the UK <coughs> so yeah how do you like the lenses on these maxi lights they still make them I can't believe they still manufacture this style of light it's been upgraded now if you go on the JSP website you can see this style of lamp it's all been upgraded you know you can pick between flash and um, steady burn and it's LED now instead of a filament bulb like this one has got um, and they have a photo cell as well so it's got all the mod cons on it <coughs> which is the version I don't have I think that's the only version no they do do well they used to do red lens versions of this and blue I've seen blue as well uh, but again they don't come up very often on eBay and when they do they usually get snapped up pretty quick and for a good price so it's a case of uh, waiting for the right moment I guess to when I've actually got money in my accounts and uh, able to pounce <laughs> um, and when one comes up like I said they're not a common st um, style, the blue and the red ones. I think that's because, at least over here in England, the emergency services used the blue ones, and the railway commonly used the red ones. See, roadworks and road closures over here, and anything related to road is amber. Unless it's a road closure by the emergency services, then they use blue which I suppose is to indicate it's an emergency service um, road closure or something flashes pretty well mm. I'm sure I've seen a doorman lamp on eBay in the past that had a similar sort of bracket fixed to it I think it was a doorman don't hold me to that <laughs> pretty certain it was a doorman ooh I just had a friend request right that is it for this video I just want to chat about this and show off the other light I can't find either of my keys at the moment. I've got like three, three or four JSP keys and I can't find either one of them. Because I use them and then I just throw them down somewhere and then I can't find the damn things. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and uh, I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye.